what's good y'all it's your boy ross back again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 worst wrestler name changes in wwe history you already know what's gonna be high on this list you already know i don't even have to say it y'all already know i'm not gonna say it because you already know recently what name change was oh so dumb the thing about name changes, it could work maybe depending on the situation, but usually when they change your name, they're usually repackaging you of some sort, maybe trying to get you over. And it, it, it doesn't usually, it sometimes maybe helps, but majority of the time it doesn't work as well. You know, the, depending on the person, how much that person is utilized and there's a lot of little factors that go into a name change and making it work because we're supposed to now believe you're a whole different person and you have to sell that so it can work but does it usually work not so much we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support man we're almost at 70k let's get this thing man Changing the name of a WWE superstar can lead them to finding new success. Sometimes changes such as the Ringmaster changing his name to Stone Cold Steve yeah, Austin sometimes and it Hunter Hearst Helmsley changing his name to Triple H, they all managed to redefine who they were as WWE superstars. Uh, sadly, not every name change has had the same impact. No. So over the years, there have been some downright awful superstar name changes. But which ones were they? Yep. Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the worst WWE name changes in history. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it has works, and a lot Number of times 10, it doesn't Chad work. Gable to oh, Shorty yeah. G. Oh, that in 2019, awful, Chad Gable was in the midst of a rivalry with Baron Corbin, and their feud predominantly revolved around Corbin making fun of Gable's size. Rather bizarrely, during the feud, WWE decided to change Gable's name to Shorty G. This was seen as Gable uh. embracing his size and not being ashamed of who he was. Gable would also change his ring attire and he would also wear a basketball jersey. It made little sense. But fast forward a year later and WWE decided to drop the new name and Gable would once again be referred to as Chad Gable. Yeah. It's unclear what WWE were trying to do with the name change, but whatever it was, it didn't work. No, it did not work. He should have kept Gable the entire time. He should be a mid card champion for sure because the guy can go it's just once they went to shorty g rounds like, oh yeah he's they're putting him in the jobber realm that nah that's not what's up no number nine joe hennig to michael mcgillicuddy the son of mr perfect kurt hennig would use the name of joe hennig during his time in fcw However, when he was getting ready to debut on the second season of NXT, WWE decided to change his name to Michael McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy. This name was truly awful and it was so <laughs> unmemorable in the eyes of fans. When WWE decided to give McGillicuddy a substantial push in 2013 and make him a Paul Heyman guy, WWE knew they needed to change his name to yeah. make him a credible threat. Thank goodness they went on the name with Curtis Axel. This name was taken after his father's name, Kurt, and the nickname for his grandfather, that being the mm. Axe. Although the name of Curtis Axel was considerably better than his prior name, WWE should have just stuck with the name Joe Hennig. Number 8, yeah. Terry Taylor to the Red Rooster. Yeah, Terry Cody Taylor was, was a working. talented wrestler and could have offered something of value to WWE, but sadly, Vince McMahon wanted to turn Taylor into just a huge laughing stock. Taylor would be given the name of the Red Rooster, and as you can imagine, wow. this was one of the worst gimmicks in WWE history. The guy thought he was a damn chicken. Come on. And wow. in order to pull this off, he would wear red tights and a red ring jacket, and his hair would often be styled in a red mohawk, and he would often move his neck like a hen, whilst yelling out the occasional <coughs> To say the name and gimmick killed Taylor's career would be an understatement. Number yeah, seven, definitely. Mosh to be the cleavage. Jeez. When headbanger member Thrasher went down with an injury during the Attitude Era, WWE decided to give the other headbanger, Mosh, a brand new gimmick. Mosh would change his name to Beaver Cleavage, would appear in black and white vignettes with his mother, and it was actually heavily implied that their relationship wasn't a traditional mother and son relationship. Incest. Well, the name change and the gimmick was terrible, and according to Mosh in a 2009 interview, WWE actually believed the gimmick would be a success. Now, although a number of gimmicks How? were successful during this time, as they did push the boundaries on what was acceptable, yeah. this was just too far. Yeah. The name change and the gimmick change was eventually dropped and the headbangers would reform to the delight of the Attitude Era audience. 
Number Yo, six, Chavo Guerrero <laughs> took her when white. What? Chavo Guerrero is such a great wrestling name. It has class, yeah. history, and yeah. honor, but this meant very little to WWE in 2005 as they decided to change his name to Kerwin White. What? This name change I didn't would know see that. Chavo debut a brand new gimmick. He would dye his hair blonde and drive a golf cart to the ring. The gimmick involved Chavo making racist comments towards other wrestlers, and the gimmick was way over the line in what terms of what was allowed on a wrestling show. According to Chavo, the name change surfaced randomly one day at WWE television as Vince McMahon came up to him and randomly referred to him as Kerwin. Chavo, during an interview with Chris Van Vliet, added, There was no conversation. I got off the plane in Japan and it was, I came to Raw and I had Vince McMahon looks at me and he goes, Well, hello, Kerwin. And I'm like, Okay, what is this? What's going on? Vince responds, Well, today you're going to denounce your Hispanic heritage and you're going to become a white guy. Vince, everybody. Number five. What in the. For every good thing Vince comes up with, it's like 10,000 awful ideas. I didn't even know that. I'm glad I didn't know that. What in the hell? That's awful. <laughs> All right, man. Five, the War Raiders oh, to the Viking experience. Yeah. When superstars are pulled that. up from NXT mm -mm. to the main roster, Vince sometimes wants to change everything about their presentation, and this extends to their ring name. This was the case when popular tag team the War Raiders were called up from NXT in 2019. WWE decided to change their name to the Viking Experience. The Viking Experience. This name change received major criticism yeah, on social stupid. media, and this criticism extended when it was revealed that both members in the team would also undergo a name change. Rowan Hansen would now be called Eric and Ivar, respectively. Although the individual changes weren't great, WWE fans insisted that WWE change the name of the collective duo. Thankfully, WWE listened, and they decided on the name of the Viking Raiders. In relation to the Viking experience, that name would be used for their finishing move, which yeah. seemed like a fair compromise. Number Even though their finishing move is solid as fuck, I love their finishing move, but it's just the fucking Viking experience, bro. What are we doing? Y'all be thinking that a name change is not the be-all, end-all, but... Especially nowadays, a name change can really hurt you, especially if it's not even a good one. The Viking experience, that sounds like a goddamn roller coaster ride at Disney World. Welcome to the Viking experience. You must be this tall to ride this ride. Like, what are we doing? You could have just kept it. That's Vince for you. For Shane Thorne to Slapjack. Now, the Retribution stable that debuted on television in 2020 was a complete failure. One of the main reasons for this failure was because WWE decided to change the names of almost all the members of the infamous stable. Yep. And without a doubt, the worst name change in the group was for Shane Thorne, who would now be known as Slapjack. The name Slapjack was an instant credibility killer, and fans were unsure as to how this was supposed Slapjack, to be a legitimate name. Bro. Other name changes in the group weren't yep. any better, as Dominic Dajakovic would turn into T-Bar, Mia Yim would be now known as Reckoning, and Dio Madden would now be known as Mace. Number 3. Keith Lee to Bearcat Lee oh, yeah. The fans had high hopes for Keith Lee's Jeez. run on the main roster, but sadly it didn't live up to expectations. Soon after his call-up, Lee was pulled from television due to a range of issues, including an issue with his heart. When he eventually returned to television, WWE decided to rebrand Lee as Bearcat Keith Lee. Now, this was a homage to Bearcat Wright, a wrestler who became popular in the late 50s and 60s. Well, this was a nice tribute, but did yeah. the name change really need to happen? No, it Keith didn't. Keith Lee sounded fine. Yes. Number two, Piper Niven to do drop. A Piper Niven was one of the top. Now, you guys were telling me about this. I just checked out a clip of whatnot uh, of her in like the independent scenes in like some hardcore ass matches. And you guys were telling me about this all in the comment section. I didn't know any of this. So, all I'm really knowing her from as is Dewdrop. And y'all like, don't call her that. And I was like, I don't want to call her that. I think that shit's awful. And I like her, her her name she originally had. Top stars of the NXT UK brand, and when she got called up to the main roster in 2021, WWE decided to completely change her character and identity. She would debut as the protege for Eva Marie and would even be given the name a Dewdrop. According to Dewdrop, she believed the name change would be temporary and fans would hope for the same. As sadly, once her lackluster pairing with Eva Marie was over, WWE still decided to keep the name moving forward. With Dewdrop having a consistent role on television, it's clear that WWE thinks the name and character is working, so it's unlikely to be changed anytime soon. And number one, Walter to Gunther. Now, the January 18th, 2022 episode of one. NXT was notable for one thing, and pretty much one thing only. It featured Walter announcing that his brand new name was Gunther. 
Shortly after this announcement, it was revealed online that WWE had registered the trademark of Gunther Stark and they planned for this to be Walter's new name. Our fans were quick to point out that Gunther Stark was the name of a Nazi commander and fans quite rightly wanted the name to be changed. They eventually dropped the Stark part of the new name, but the Gunther part sadly stuck. Walter would explain the name change during a promo on NXT and here he would explain that he needed to create his own path and that he was leaving Walter behind in favour of Gunther. Let's be fair, the explanation was extremely weak and did very little to answer critics of the controversial name change. But there you have it folks, 10 of the worst WWE name changes in- I'm glad that's number one because it's just stupid. I just think what what whatever whatever the the old saying you know what it is what is not whatever's not broken doesn't need to be fixed this is that saying this applies Vince a lot of things that work they just work for a reason you don't have to tweak it or fix it if it's good and it's great and it's getting over and it makes sense it seems believable sounds cool leave it I just don't oh man bro. Sometimes name changes, character changes work. A lot of times it don't because you don't need to. Unless it makes sense, unless it sounds cool. I don't know who be thinking some of these names are cool and it's going to get over. No, it just comes off as cringe, desperate, and lame. Some of these, most of them. But comment down below, let me know what's the worst name change you've ever heard in wrestling from it doesn't even matter what company just the worst name change you've ever heard from in wrestling or seen in wrestling but i appreciate all love and support row to 70k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next week peace